Everybody got to know where we're at. All right. Well, here we are in Todd's nice, clean truck. I wish I could keep my truck this clean. Look at this thing. Okay, I don't know how well old oh, I know. There's a nice Todd. Todd. What Todd's nice about Todd's truck is we can see the fuel mileage. Okay. Now, this is, you know, driving around town. Okay. And Todd will settle in because he just was at a stop. And there's his, that's what he normally gets his 14. There you go, 20, 22, all right, and it'll drop in and settle in a little bit. Okay, now, let's see here, we're watching it, and right at 20, okay, and Todd, what do you normally get on your mileage? Well, we're doing about 35, 40 right now, normally I'd be getting about maybe like 15, 16. Okay. We jumped up to 20, so that's a gain there. And the real gain is when the uh, next light up at this intersection, right? You're gonna turn and you can jump on the that's 275. Get on the highway. Yeah, exactly. and we'll get it out on the highway and see what we're doing. Here we are, everyday Tampa traffic. Hey, we're down in the hood side. One more block over. We should be in trouble. 29, 30. We're hitting 29, 32, 41. A lot better than what 17 was and the other thing that really helped was we came up with a new injection tip and uh, instead of putting big bubble little bubble right um, we actually spray the hydrogen into it now um, so it's more consistent like back on the theory is here you got big bubble little bubble small bubble medium sized bubble that come up out of your unit right and then what will happen is you'll you'll come the number one cylinder right and you'll get a big bubble and it's just a dirty burn you come the number two cylinder you'll get like a smaller bubble it might be a cleaner barn you go to a number three cylinder and here you got just too small of a bubble and it's you know not even doing anything then you go to number four cylinder and there may not be any hydrogen at all now Ty's gonna do some accelerating here on-ramp, 44, 53, here he settles in. Okay, here we are at 55. We're doing 26 miles to the gallon. Now we're going to take it up to 60. Let's see Todd's gauge. Okay, should be right at 60. Getting okay, in traffic here, giving it a little up. We're above 60, all right, so we're above 60, and 29, 21, 21 22, 24, off to 18. okay, now he's going to run it up to 70, and stay in the line, yeah, okay, so here we are sitting at 70, okay, here's our numbers, 28, 25. Going uphill right now. And going uphill. Coming downhill on a little coast. 22, 24, 25, okay. Still holding 70 here. Still Just holding 70. Okay. Just see what we got here. About 65. 20, 65. Uphill. Uphill. Everybody know where we are. Doing it Tampa style, baby. A little downhill. Getting better mileage all the way around, however we drive, because we were only getting 15, 16 at the best. Uphill, 22 miles per hour. Yep. Leveling off on a little flatter land. 
holding 26, 55 27, 55. are. This is my hometown, Tampa Bay. Here we are. Back in Tampa. Actually, we just turned around. Let's see if we, yeah, there we go. Now we can see it much better. 30, 28. What are you doing, Todd? Sitting in here doing what everybody else is doing. We got a couple guys that like to pass on the road. Side, but that's okay, and I'm running out of tape. 52, we're doing 55, we're getting about 25. So okay. Yep, okay. All right. 55. Now let's go look for some stranger to breathe off these. Oh, well, here we are, Tampa style. We're just checking everything. I mean, it's going real good. Um, what we're going to do here is we just found this gentleman walking down the street. We're going to ask him a question, see if he can do us a little favor. Yeah, we're showing everybody that we can improve people's gas mileage and emissions and stuff. Right, this is a hydrogen fuel cell. Now, I've never met you before in my life, right? Okay, look, would you do me a favor and just smell this exhaust? Tell me if you think it's clean. This is tailpipe exhaust, right? Just, you know, most vehicles that I go up to, they don't smell or burn this clean. But if you can, you can smell that. I just, I had a lot of different opinions and stuff, but to me, that smells real clean. I just wanted you to say, does that smell like a diesel? Does it smell dirty? Does it smell clean? I'm sure you've smelled bad exhaust on cars and everything like that before. Right. Do you think it smells? What do you think? Does that smell pretty clean here? Huh? Does that smell pretty clean? It doesn't smell like exhaust, does it? It's pretty much hot water vapor that's yeah. coming out of the exhaust. Is that what it that's smells what it like to you? It is yeah. hot water. There's no fumes coming out of that. Found no. almost zero emissions. And we're running huh? this truck off of water. Huh? We're running this truck off of water. Do you believe that? Yeah, that's what that is in the front. That cool You're running the truck off of water? Off of water. Smell that. What, you experiment with stuff? Yeah, we've been working on hydrogen fuel cell generators technology for about six years. How well does it run? It runs real good. We're getting, he's getting like 23, 25 miles to the gallon. Just plain water. Yep. HHO. You gotta be kidding. Yep. No, and that's no, what no. we're doing. And look, you can, please, go down there and smell that. Tell me if you smell anything coming out of it. I only got like two minutes left. I don't smell any left. gas at all, I just smell. No fumes at all the, from the no, truck, I, nothing. You smell the, uh, what I smell is basically. Like steam. Steam that's, that's moving. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, no fuel. Thank thing. you. That's what we're looking for. It's just an honest opinion from around someone we've never met before or seen before, basically. And thank you so much for kind of, yeah. And you can see it just warm steam, you know? You know, you normally burn your hands or whatever. I mean, that's this truck's been going for a couple hours now, man. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you might have something there, brother. Thank you, sir. You have a good one. Hey, no thanks problem. for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, up in closing. See where that works? Just bubbling up right there. That's just how the gas. There's our unit. It's collecting up over there because it's getting fed in the air and take. That's just water tank, yeah. You can see it. Here we are. Into the intake. Into the gas. Into the gas. Into the gas. Into the gas. Collecting that. Collects right here. It just recirculates through the system. Right. The gas from there goes through the flat pad for us. So it can't explode. It gets fed right in. The throttle bodies are getting sucked into like. Okay. How long have you guys been working on that? I've been doing it for about six years yeah. now. Pretty new, six, eight months right now. Yeah, we're going to put those uh, foreign oil bastards out of business. Keep, them at home, you know? yeah. Keep jobs and money in the U.S. economy. If it's working out like it is, you ain't got too much to do, but you want to have to on it. That's nice. nice and that's just to show it also. Here we are. We're, we stuck this on a brand new truck. Yeah? yeah. That's a brand new truck. Gas mileage nowhere near the eBay rating. How long have you been riding with, 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 with the water? About a month now, about four or five weeks now. Yeah, exactly. You're working on it, man. Never had a sensor light go off, nothing, no problems whatsoever. The engine just runs stronger, cleaner, and better. Just keep working on it, bro. Nice, thanks. We appreciate the encouragement. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, lo care. I'm a local preacher here. Oh, all right. Oh, exactly. good deal. Tell me, people sir. about it. Yeah. Keep your eye out for us. No we'll problem. All right, take care.
All right, there we are. That's our average Joe. In our honest average opinion. <laughs>